Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen to me in 2020 have been absolutely phenomenal. Two drivers who, in my opinion, are not only head and shoulders above everyone else in Formula One, but almost seem to be in a league of their own. Now, for very different reasons and obviously in very different cars and in very different times in their careers, but nevertheless, their speed, their talent, their consistency, and then of course their maturity and leadership skills just seem to be on another level when you compare it to the the rest of the grid. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about both of these two drivers and why I genuinely think that at the moment, these two are racing in a league of their own. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Aldas and really quickly before we do jump into the video, I'd just like to say that recently I did a collaboration with Kira from Kira Megan F1. Now Kira is someone who has actually appeared on my channel uh, a few videos ago and yeah, we did a really great collaboration over on her channel talking about which young drivers we think should get to Formula 1 in 2020 from the incredible field of F2 drivers we have this year. So again, I'll have the video linked in the comments box below and don't forget to check it out and also uh, subscribe to her channel as well. Anyway, if you do enjoy the content on my channel, then don't forget to drop a like, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out my social medias, Instagram and Twitter will be above. But guys, let's get into this one. Now, I thought, first of all, I'd talk about Lewis Hamilton because I feel like he's the more known quantity. He's the easier driver to talk about. And coming into 2020, obviously right now, after the first six races, he is leading the championship ahead of Max Verstappen and just that in itself I think is absolutely amazing but I'll talk about that a little bit later on but as far as Lewis Hamilton himself once again he's got a fantastic car courtesy of the Mercedes team and he is just again picked up right where he left off and not showing any signs of slowing down I feel like the media and the fans are just looking for that one little moment where you can say yes Lewis Hamilton is maybe starting a little bit of a decline in his career but no at the age of 35 he is still very much in his prime and and not showing any signs of stopping anytime soon. As far as his season so far in 2020, in the first six races, he has taken four wins already, and his other two have been a fourth place in the first race of the season in Austria, after that little coming together with Alexander Albon, and then at the 70th anniversary Grand Prix, where of course Mercedes were outgunned by the superior tyre performance of the Red Bull, and of course the amazing performance of Max Verstappen as well. But other than those two races, he has won every single race so far, this season and when we talk about Lewis Hamilton it's the numbers that we mostly come back to and when we talk about the numbers I mean 88 wins so far 92 pole positions and to be honest the more I watch Lewis Hamilton in 2020 the more I feel like it's less Lewis Hamilton versus Valtteri Bottas or Lewis Hamilton versus Max Verstappen or anyone else on the grid and it's more about Lewis Hamilton versus the record books I feel like we're just counting down the days you know when is Lewis Hamilton going to get to 91 wins and match the great Michael Schumacher when is he going to overtake Michael Schumacher? Could he get 100 wins by the end of this season and be the first driver in the history of Formula 1 to do that? Could he get over 100 pole positions in 2020 as well and again be the first driver in the history of the sport to do that? And that is the thing about Lewis Hamilton from my opinion. It's less about who is going to be able to beat him in 2020 because yet again Ferrari have been a disappointment and even when you look at Red Bull and everything that they have going for them, the incredible organization, they have a driver who is capable of beating Lewis Hamilton Hamilton in equal machinery. There's no doubt about it. That's how big time Max Verstappen is in 2020. And yet, once again, for the fourth or fifth or sixth season in a row, yet again, they still can't give Max even anywhere close, really, to a car that is capable of consistently challenging for race wins uh, throughout the entire season. So that's what's been really the most frustrating. And yes, whilst Lewis Hamilton is only racing against Valtteri Bottas, who he is absolutely dominating, in my opinion, it's the way he is dominating and the fact that even though he has this good car, you still need the consistency you still can never take your foot off the gas and that is exactly what Lewis Hamilton does to the point where it even looks like it's impossible for anyone to beat him unless we get a crazy race with massive tire degradation and really high temperatures as well like we saw at Silverstone and at the 70th anniversary Grand Prix and that is the thing you know even during a wet session a lot of people when a lot of the media try to point out the fact that oh we cannot wait for a wet session because Max Verstappen is really going to step into his own but let's not forget that Lewis Hamilton has already set one of the greatest laps of all time 
this season at the Styrian Grand Prix during qualifying. 1.6, I think, seconds quicker than Valtteri Bottas and 1.4 seconds quicker than Max Verstappen. So Lewis Hamilton does not get phased by wet sessions. Although the one thing and the one shining light I do have for the rest of the grid is that the one piece of unpredictability that can stifle Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes is the fact that we're going to so many new races and so many unknown tracks where we don't have as much data and that should hopefully spice up the racing and maybe put a little bit more pressure on Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes and give some of the other teams a chance to perform well and maybe challenge for race wins as well. So yes, yeah, certainly that unpredictability is what I'm looking forward to. But in terms of Lewis Hamilton, again, he has just started 2020 on the same level where he left off in 2019 and is just once again beating his teammate. He's on a whole different level. His consistency is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think it's uh, beyond, you know, reason to say that he's going to score points in every single race this season, just like he did last year in 2019. And that's because not only has he got a great car, but he is also someone who never, never takes his focus off where it needs to be. And that is winning races and winning championships. And that is why he is on his way to a potential seventh world title to once again match the great Michael Schumacher. So now let's talk about Max Verstappen, a driver who, even when I think about him in 2020, I just get a smile on my face because he has been absolutely incredible. He has been eye-watering, and I mean that in a good way. Every single time I see him, I just can't believe what he is doing, and I just I also can't believe the kind of jump up that he has made in 2020, because when you look at where he is right now in the championship, second in the championship ahead of Valtteri Bottas, and a lot of people might be saying that, yes, Valtteri was unlucky at, of course, the British Grand Prix where he had a tyre puncture. Yeah, no doubt he was very unlucky there to lose a whole load of points, but Max Verstappen also had a DNF in the first race of the season. So when you look at kind of the balance of the unlucky factor, I think it's about even between Max Verstappen and Valtteri Bottas and the fact that he is legitimately beating him in the championship so far and actually over the course of the Spanish Grand Prix weekend extended his lead in second place ahead of Valtteri Bottas, I think just shows that Max Verstappen with Lewis Hamilton, these two are just on a different level in terms of speed, in terms of consistency. And that is the one word consistency, doing it just race in, race out. Because when you look at Max so far, in 2020, except for that one DNF at the start of the season, he has never, never been off the podium so far. And also, whilst he has had some rough qualifyings there and there, it's not been 100% perfect because when you look at teams like Racing Point, they're really turning it up in qualifying. But in the races, Max Verstappen just, again, goes to a different level. He is on a different IQ when it comes to Sundays. And I feel like him and Lewis Hamilton are up there ahead of anyone else in Formula One right now. And it's not just the speed and it's not just the consistency. I think more more than anything else for me, it's the mental factor. That is why I put Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen ahead of anyone else because mentally these two guys, the way they are dominating, the way they are driving, the way they are driving the strategy, no pun intended, uh, in their teams as well, it just amazes me. When you look at Lewis Hamilton in Spain, when uh, his team said that they were going to put him on the soft tyre, he was like, hell no, that is not a good race tyre. I am not being put on that. Whilst Valtteri Bottas just went with the team. And Max Verstappen also showed something very similar at the 70th anniversary anniversary Grand Prix when he saw that the Mercedes were struggling on their tires and his team were like, oh, you know, maybe we should do some conservation. Max Verstappen was like, no way. I'm not going to granny drive this thing. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to put them under pressure and I'm going to take this race for myself. And guess what? The man just went and done it and he won the race and just the confidence that he kind of almost exhibits from himself. I'm absolutely loving it. And it just makes me kind of really feel annoyed that he does not have a championship capable car. Although it also does make me very excited to think about when Max Verstappen does get a car that is even a hair width capable of challenging for a championship, he is going to have that Alonso mentality of I'm just going to go for it and I'm just going to be the most aggressive. I'm going to lead this team and I'm going to absolutely smash it no matter what car I am driving. And that is what really excites me, especially for the future in Formula One. So again, to summarize, these two drivers excite me for very different reasons. With Lewis Hamilton, it's more the history factor. How high can he set the ceiling for these young guys to go and try and break? But with Max Verstappen, it's just been incredible to see his development. I didn't think that he was going to get even better after 2019, especially how much better he is now this year. The consistency that he has, the way he's leading that team, the way he is mentally dominating his teammates, and just the way he is driving as well, I think it's phenomenal. 
phenomenal and I'm absolutely loving it. So again, these two guys for very different reasons are in a league of their own in Formula 1. It's the Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton show and then everyone else trying to catch up, trying to have the same level of consistency, trying to lead their teams in a similar type of way, battling with their teammates. But let's be honest, as I said, it is the Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen show in Formula 1 right now. So the question then goes, who is the better driver so far in 2020? Who has the edge and who would win in the same car? Well, as far as that second question, who do you think would win in the same car? I'm going to let you guys decide in the comments box below and let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me. Do you think that Lewis Hampton and Max Verstappen are head and shoulders above everyone else in Formula One? But as far as who I think has had the better season so far relative to where their car is, well, I mean, it's crazy close. When you look at Lewis Hamilton, he has won every single race bar, two of them. And the only thing that you can really mark him down on is that little incident with Alexander Albon. When you look at Max Verstappen, again, his consistency has been ridiculous. The guy is second in the championship, legitimately ahead of Valtteri Bartas. The only thing that you can mark Max Verstappen down on is that little spin right at the end of qualifying in Q3 at the Styrian Grand Prix, where, of course, we had that really heavy rain uh, session. So, yeah, it's usually conditions that Max Verstappen excels in and I expected him to get a lot closer to Lewis Hamilton to make a bit more of a statement but that's it really and again you know it might seem a little bit petty to micro analyze the season that these two guys have had so much and pick on very small mistakes but that is just how phenomenal these guys have been so far and that's the only things that we can look at when we think about marking them down so far this season both of them have been phenomenal but if I was to pick one person who to me has stood out it's got to be Max Verstappen because I expected Lewis Hamilton to dominate and win the championship and win all of the races that he is winning because I've already called him the greatest of all time. That's my opinion and it's certainly a debate that I'd love to have with someone else uh, on the channel in the future. So I expect Lewis to have these kind of performances and this kind of season, but I did not expect Max Verstappen to even jump up another level in 2020 and lead the team like he is right now. So to me, he has been the standout so far in 2020, but that doesn't take away from the fact that, again, as I said, in my opinion, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, this is their show, this is their sport right now, and they are in a league of their own. Well, guys, there you go. I hope you did enjoy this video. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. I cannot wait to see what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to drop a like, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out my social medias. Instagram and Twitter will be above. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.